Hi, this is the Cool Geek, and in the seventh video of the VLOOKUP series, we're going to learn how to do a VLOOKUP from a different workbook. Now, in, we might come across many situations where we are not able to do a VLOOKUP, and this might happen because we have opened both our workbooks in two different instances of Excel. For example, you might have the habit of going to the Start menu and launching Excel from there. What that does is it often opens different instances of Excel and if your excel is contained between two different instances of excel you will not be able to do a vlookup so scenario one exactly shows that now in scenario two you will be able to see that you know both my workbooks are open within the same instance of excel and to ensure you have opened both the excel workbooks in the same instance what you can do is open the first workbook normally as you do and then go to the file menu uh, within the first workbook and click on open and open the second workbook from within that will ensure that you have both the excel workbooks within the same instance now to do, do the uh, do the vlookup what you can do is uh, i've just set up a small example here example 7 contains my master database the vlookup series working file contains the information that i want to extract from this master base master base so i want to extract salary for these employees and i can do that by simply typing is equal to vlookup lookup value is name now uh, come to the second workbook often it does not select anything in the first click it requires a second click to be able to select your database uh, when you're doing a vlookup from a different workbook it automatically fixes the range so it's an advantage for us we have to uh, we can actually skip another f4 button so do a comma i want the salary which is in the second column so two and then zero uh, because i want a exact match close the bracket and press enter i can drag this formula down and i will be able to extract the salary for all three employees i can say from the small green drop down fill without formatting to let my formatting remain now if you observe within the VLOOKUP formula here, you will see there is a square bracket and within which the Excel workbook is mentioned that from which I have done the VLOOKUP. Now with this small piece of information, we can do a lot of wonders and a lot of stunts within VLOOKUP to automate or ensure that we are doing it from the right file. So that I'll cover within the next few videos. Thank you.